Hello friends, let's talk about the moon once again, or more precisely the Moonlander, in my opinion the most wonderful ergonomic keyboard ever made. A few months ago I made a video about this fancy new keyboard I got and people had some questions, so let's give them answers. First of all, thanks to everyone who offered their insight and personal tips on how to best use the space and all the keys you are given. Also, since some comments called me out for positioning the keyboard way too far away from me, your attention to detail is unmatched, thank you very much. But to clear things up, this is how the keyboard normally stays on my desk and this is how I positioned it for filming the last video. Writing like this is indeed not really comfortable and you may rest assured no risks were harmed in the process. Do I use a mouse or a trackpad? I personally use a mouse for everyday business, but I do really understand the want for a trackpad or even a trackball if you're feeling old school, so you can have a stationary device between the two halves, or to either side if you're feeling adventurous, as opposed to a mouse which needs space to move around. But this really depends on how far you place your hands apart, but for me there's enough space in between to comfortably move the mouse around, so there's absolutely no problem. Okay, this really depends on what you normally do and what kind of input devices you use on a daily basis, but I still use a numpad and a fairly big drawing tablet if I'm working in Blender or when I'm drawing. This might not work for everyone, but I normally place the numpad to the left instead of the right, so that I can have one hand remain on the mouse and one hand switch between the moon lander and the numpad. When using the drawing tablet, I put the right half and mouse away and use the buttons on the tablet and the left half of the moon lander. This is just what works for me and thankfully I have a big enough desk to move everything around as needed and I'm really grateful for that, but this might not work for everyone. Okay, Blender and the Moon Lander. Let's talk a little about Blender. I need to admit I still haven't found a solution for using Blender and sadly my Blender usage has significantly decreased since I got this new keyboard. Because the key layout is customizable, I planned, I planned <laughs> on mapping a dedicated layer with just shortcuts for Blender but leave as many keys as possible where they would normally sit in a regular QWERTY layout, which is what I use. Initially, I wanted to map my most used shortcuts onto the left half to be free to use my mouse with my right hand, but I've really been procrastinating on that. There were some attempts, for example, I tried to remap the coordinates X, Y and Z to be next to each other, but with Y down on the C button, I could no longer use C for sculpting, so I tried to remap that. Similar story with S, R and G, which you normally use all the time, which I wanted next to each other. Because these shortcuts I used so often, I replaced A and D, but could no longer add new things or duplicate them. So long story short, this is not as easy as anticipated, and I might need to have a look at already existing layouts and maybe modify one of those to get everything running. Maybe there is a solution with modifier keys or holding a button instead of just tapping it, but for now I still just use the buttons on the right side because muscle memory is one hell of a bit. Okay, sculpted keycaps. Let's talk about keycaps again, my favorite topic. I used the sculpted keycaps that, key capes, key caps that came with the Moonlander, so let me show you a side profile button. A friend of mine who owns both the flat and sculpted keycaps that are delivered by CSA was kind enough to let me use the set for filming, so here you can see the difference in heights and the curvature. There's really not that much of a difference, but I personally like the slight curve they give you. Do you travel with the board? Yes, I do. I use it both for work and in my free time, so sometimes I take it with me to work from different places. Then my experience with traveling was great so far. The first few times I really took the time to loosen up all four screws and flatten the board, which in hindsight was not really necessary. When traveling now, I only loosen up the thumb parts and leave the little legs in their normal tented position. Um, which makes it easier to find the right position again when setting it up again, so here's a little way to save some time. In theory, I guess you could also leave the thumb parts as they are. It definitely fits into the case with my, with my normal degree of tenting, but with all the other things I'm carrying around in my backpack, it will definitely flatten out when traveling, and I'm afraid this might loosen up the whole board over time. So I'm not doing it. But in theory, you could. <laughs> So here's another travel hack I wanted to share with you, which I have not tried yet, but will maybe do in the future. According to a Reddit comment I found a while ago, the Amazon Basics GoPro hard case is the perfect size for holding both halves of the Moonlander. Um, I haven't tried it, but if you did, please let me know if it works and if everything fits in there. And yeah, just 
share your experience if you've done that. Let's talk about alternative boards. Needless to say, at a price point of around 370 euros and a similar amount of American money, the Moonlander really is an investment. But after three months of constantly using it, I couldn't be happier. So in my case, I really think the investment was worth it, but I know that this is not affordable for everyone and there are similar and cheaper keywords available. I don't want to get into details here, there are many great boards out there, but I don't personally own any of them, so I will leave the journey to finding your favorite to you. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you have found the answers you were looking for. But if you want to know more, check out my first impressions of the Moonlander and have a nice day. Bye!